Ho! Back again. It's me. Um, I'm here to unbox miniatures because, honestly, I have not the constitution or the the brain power or the energy to do pretty much anything else, and I have some miniatures to unbox. Now, I do apologise if that sounds like a really bad excuse for doing this type of video, but I, that's sort of my excuse for today. I'm sorry if that seems to be a bad reason. Anyway, you'll find the start time for this video down in the description like I always do. It's always there. I always make sure it's down there eventually once YouTube has published it. And I'll do the same thing again today. Okay? Alright. Now, I am not going to answer questions at the end. The sound seems to be coming through fine. Um, if there's a, a real big issue, let me know. I can open a window, but I think right now, since it's been raining and windy and so forth, it would be a really bad idea, so I'm going to get the window closed. Um, just talk to me as I go. I am quite happy for that to be the, the case. Um, I'll say it right now, just in case you don't hang around for too long. This is likely to be my last live stream for quite a while. I'm just feeling a bit worn down and a little bit uh, tired. And I need a break, so um, that doesn't mean there won't be YouTube uh, video content on my channel, but I will probably take a break after this. Uh, I don't know whether that'll be a week or two weeks. Um, you probably see me next weekend, um, but yes, at least during the week I am definitely taking a break uh, just to re-energize myself. Okay, so let's do this. Let's open this thing. Yeah, I'll do my intro and we'll go from there. Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller and today I'm here to unbox miniatures. Um, I was very, very tempted to call in sick and say, no, I'm not doing a video today. But um, as I found out from doing a poll, not many people are interested in unboxing miniatures. So it was very sort of traumatic for me. I was like, what am I supposed to do? Because I don't have anything else I can do and everything else requires too much work. So instead... It seems that the Lost Coast is the, the preferred miniature box to open. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to open those boxes. I have four of them today. And it probably should relate in some way to the new adventure, um, which is Ghosts of Salt Marsh, right? So that's the intention. I'm going to work my way through something that's more nautical or water-themed uh, for this particular day. Okay. All right, I've got my little knife. I'm going to do all the cutting first so that I don't slice myself open and then, of course, bleed all over the black um, <laughs> cloth. How's it going, Smash Bro? Smash Bro 99, thank you for hanging out. And I hope I get some good pulls too. I've had a few pulls. I think I've already got the, the green dragon here. That green dragon I already have. Oh, my knife blade is moving. That's not a good sign. Tighten it up. Um, I don't know if... I might have the, um, the gnome. I'm not sure. This is an ID Stalker, which just looks like an Intellect Devourer, if you ask me. And I, I might have him as well, the Alchemist. And on the other side, I'm, I definitely have the Goblin Mutant already. And this Barbarian, don't think so. I might have this Flying Winged Creature, and I don't think I've got him. But we'll see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to cut that box open. Sorry if I'm fiddling around too much. You know me, <laughs> I, I fluff around quite a lot sometimes. So let's cut this box open, cutting towards myself to ensure that I don't hurt myself. <laughs> I mean, away from myself to ensure that I don't hurt myself. My blade's still coming loose. What's what's the deal there? Stay in there. You should be paid enough for you. Yeah, stay there. No moving. All right, and that, and that, and this one. One more to open up. And then we will toss the cardboard and the plastic in all directions, making lots and lots of strange, wacky noises as we go. Okay, how's it going, Brandon? Fred, I hope you get a dragon in that box. Well, I'm, I'm fine not to have a dragon. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've seen this one before. I think I've got this miniature already. Yes, I do. All right, bye-bye, box. Uh, so we'll take him out of the seatbelt. I've got a seat belt on him. Uh, Boule, man, one D&D stream to the next, Fred. Well, it's sort of like that today, isn't it? This weekend is just full of live streams. There's, there's something else. Let's chuck that away. All right, so this is the big one. I've already got, I might actually have two of these things. 
Honestly, I think I might have at least two of these things. This is just a fire giant king. Fire giant king. Not really the right scale, but it is Pathfinder, so uh, they might struggle with that sort of thing. So we'll just stick you over here for now. And we'll rip open the plastic bits. Empty it out. Yeah, this is really working well, Fred. I'm stuck on the cell tape. All right, five minutes to get that open. And open up. Come on out. Come here. Come here. Come here. And get rid of the plastic. At least the cleanup's not going to be too bad. Ba 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 ba. What is this? This looks flattened. Oh my gosh. This is this is definitely flattened. Oh 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 oh. Got to be careful. Oh, she's going to break right off there. Oh oh oh. Technical problems. Technical problems. Ah ah ah. Oh shizes. That's going to mean it require some gluing. Um. Yes, and probably some hot water to get it to sort of bend. Okay. All right. So. Technical problem, somebody has been fatally injured, and um, there's no possible way of solving this. No, I'm, I'm only kidding. <laughs> there probably is. This is a naughty Avenger. She's got a sword. She's got some cleavage. She's got long hair, black hair, and brown booties and brown kit. And it like, looks like a bit of a kilt on there. And I don't know if you can tell, but her boots are right crazy. And she's come off her base, so going to have to do a bit of uh, repair, unfortunately. Hmm, okay, alright, so I'm going to move that over. That is going into the pile of, I have to fix you later on. <laughs> so what is this thing? This is a green hag. Really? I've got a green hag. Whoa, nice. Green hag time. For those of you who wanted to see a green hag, I will uh, give you a first, the most important view. <laughs> the backside. The back of the miniature, and then of course the side of the miniature, and then the front of the miniature, like so. There we go. That's my green hag. Very good. Actually, that's a really nice sculpt. Paint job is disastrous, but never mind. This is a goblin. Why are the goblins always the best ones? Um, goblin, is it goblin druid? It is a goblin druid. So this is my goblin druid. I don't know if you can necessarily see much of the goblin droid. There we go. Now you might have noticed that it's not zooming in and out and so forth because I've not got the autofocus on. What I've discovered is the autofocus just pops back in and out constantly, which is what I just can't stand that sort of thing. So yeah, it's a goblin droid. Okay, so next box in the arsenal or the uh, collection that we've got here. Let's pop this open. I have to say, getting another one of those fire giants not really what I was hoping for. But nautical theme box is gone. Oh, seatbelt time. Come on, miniatures. Come out. Here we go. All right, and I'm pretty sure that's a troll <laughs> and a seatbelt. Come here. Ah, fighting the bubble wrap. Uh, yes, yeah, Smash Bro, I definitely, I've got to take a break. Otherwise, I'm going to go insane. I don't know what the heck what that, what that was, but it looks like some sort of flying creature. It's on a stalk. Brandon. Uh, yes, I'm going to take all the time I need to regenerate myself. Do you know, there's, just, there's those times you have where you're like, all I want to do is just play with miniatures. I, I just don't want to have to use my brain too much because I feel like I've had to do too much of that as it is. Yes. I too am struggling to brain. Yes, I am. I'm a struggling to brain myself. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Minis, come on now. Alright, come here. Come here. Seatbelt removal. I like these little ties. It's just... Alright, okay, let's, let's get a little sucker. He's not wanting to come. Oh, God. I, I'm not strong enough to get it out of the plastic. Oh, it's going to break, isn't it? Push it. Push. Ah, that's probably not as bad as trying to give birth. Okay, all right. So, what do we got here? We got a, a troll. That's a troll. I am pretty sure I have another troll like this troll already. Uh, the only difference is it doesn't have a weapon. It's got a big fat belly. Um, it's been eating lots of things, but I don't believe it has a weapon. Um, this one is weaponless. A weaponless troll. I suppose there's no such thing. That's what the big 
sharp teeth are all about and yeah okay so that's a troll and this this looks like this is a flying uh, leaping bogard it looks like a flying frog if you ask me so look look at this it's like ah uh, so flying through the air catching the flies whacking you with a big club with spikes on it um i have to say very peculiar but very nautically watery based in terms of uh it's uh yeah it's fine i'm all right with that and this is really small so you're unlikely to be able to see it it's a small earth elemental with little spikes on it it's got some eyes no real mouth not a particularly fantastic um, paint job on it um and, and that, that's 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 it that's uh okay that was exciting all right what's this this is a goblin snake is there such a thing as a goblin snake apparently there do goblins take actually keep snakes as pets because i feel like um not that i i've got nothing against people who keep snakes as pets i'm sure they're very nice but it does seem like a very strange and odd thing to do um yeah i, I feel like it's uh what is it going to eat it's going to wind up eating you know like your the kids um the next door neighbors maybe you uh depending on its size it's going to crawl onto bed with you oh gosh i just can't even imagine that okay so that's a goblin snake moving on to the next box uh let's just pop open this and pull this out well wishing for the dragon to demon Ooh, this looks interesting. I don't know what it is. He's also in a suit seat belt. I'm going to get the ones out of the bubble wrap because that's the ones that give me the, so much trouble. Just come here. Demon? Demon? No. No. Come here. Come here. That's it. That's gone. Right. Next one. What are you? Come here. They bend, unfortunately. Yes, yes, it can be fixed. I'm going to stick it in some hot water. Ooh, look at that. Um, and... And then I'm going to have to use some glue to stick it back onto the base, which is probably going to happen today. Oh, well, you hear that wonderful sound that's so stress relieving. Yes, squeeze, squeeze that baby, squeeze. Hello, Oscar. How's it going, Oscar? Um, Fule, thank you. There we go. All right, so we've got those in it. Now I'm going to get this thing out here. It's got a seatbelt on. Take a tie off. Tie, 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 tie. Ah, oh, come on. Hurry up. Oh, I gonna spend lots of time doing other things. There we go, it's gone. Alright, so well look okay, so you've probably already seen this one before. <laughs> um I, I'm pretty sure I have one of these already. I've done a video on the uh, miniature. This is the Goblin Mutant. I feel like the Goblin Mutant is awesome, and to have more than one Goblin Mutant just means that I am definitely going to put them together in an adventure at some time just to scare the bejesus out of my players because that's what dungeon masters are supposed to do okay what is this this is a small fire elemental in fact it's so small that in all likelihood you'll be able to see very little of it there we go but it's very flamey it's red I don't know if I've got that many fire elementals and certainly not one that small okay this is a fire pelt cougar so basically it's supposed to be a fire pelt cougar what the heck is a fire pelt cougar it's not painted fan well the paint job's not too bad it just looks a little bit white in the front it's just basically a cougar it's a cat on a back black 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 background yeah there we go that's going to help a lot i should have done that a little bit more apparently that's there's the poop hole and there's the side get my fingers out of the way and you get a reasonable sort of look at the, the middle he's gonna pour you yeah okay that's him cool um one more box one more box and you're free to go and do other things with your time come here pull this out and no oh this looks interesting um, oh, I missed the big one. Oh, hang on. I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Um, so this is supposed to be a hill giant chief. 
I don't think I've got this hill giant chief. Can I just say to you right now, this hill giant chief is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got really good detail on it. It's actually pretty well painted. It's, I have to say, really quite impressive. Maybe not necessarily the right scale for Dungeons and Dragons 5e, because everything is supposed to be huge giants, right? But this, as a giant, is awesome. I would use it as a an ogre, and I would be quite happy. It's got little um, skulls around its neck. Um, he's got like this patchwork pants or overalls with one strap off, and he's got a pile of logs strapped together, and he's scratching his head. I love this. This is awesome. That is great. Okay, so back to unloading the last one. It's the bubble wrap, and there's a miniature in there, which I'll deal with in a second. Let's get the bubble wrap ones out, because they're often the ones that I struggle to get. Come here. Sellotape. You know, sellotape is plastic bags, and sellotape, hardest thing to get into. All right. Cool. And that's that one. And we'll do the other one as well. Come here. No. No. Open it up. Oh, something's inside. There we go. Cool. Got it. And... Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. Look what I've got. Playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is, a, of course, the miniature you absolutely must have. I don't know what they were thinking. Sometimes I wonder about the creators of miniatures. Um, I want to start off with this one. Uh, this is Porky Pig. Uh, this is a pig. I have a pig miniature. That's right. Yes, it's, it's a pig. Um, do pigs hang out by the coast a lot? I'm not sure. But apparently, this is a squealing Nord. It's a pig. That's what it is. It's a pig. I could give, I could have got a pig from like the $2 store, from the farm section, you know? Like if I want sheep and pigs and so forth, I could have got a pig. I got a pig. Oh my gosh. Okay. What's this? This is a Lamashu 2 Thug 1. Lamashu 2 Thug 1. He's in black and red and he looks he's he's got like a mask on and he looks like he's got a crossbow loaded and he's got a cape i don't know why he's got the cape i have no idea why he's got the cape but you can see cape yeah whatever all right next uh this is a bogard warrior so we had a flying bogard with us um now this is a non-flying bogard which is basically just another name for a, a frog, man, creature, thing. Um, Kurtoa, uh, if you can't call it a Kurtoa, then I suppose you call it what, a, uh, a Bollywog, one of those, one of those sort of froggy-like creatures. Certainly, yeah, that's fine. I, I could do with more frog-like creatures, absolutely. I have no problem with that. Okay, last, big miniature, looks like a dragon. For those of you who were hoping that I would finally pull a dragon, then I will do that. Yes, it's a magic pig. Yes. I'm going to get the name wrong. Euripides, Euripides Ghost. The magic pig. That's, that's the one. I probably just said your name like... If I butchered, butchered, butchered your name, if I butchered your name, I do apologize. And the seatbelt stuck in place. Um, I don't want a pig miniature. Uh, Smash bro, I don't want a pig miniature. I don't need a pig. I can just get it from somewhere else. Yeah, I don't really need a pig that's a familiar. If I want a, if I want a familiar, it's going to be an owl. That way, it can't get crushed quite so badly. <clears throat> Intriguing. Mm. Right. Okay. So this is a dragon, and it is a forest drake. Oh, it's not a dragon. It's a drake. It's actually a pretty good drake, if you ask me. As drakes go, right? As drakes go. So this is a drake. And as you can see, it's got some decent paint job on it. It's got a long, long tail that looks like a vine. And it's got some spread out wings, which are brown. And it's sticking out its tongue. It's probably tasting the air because very shortly it's going to have um, human flesh. That's probably what's about to take place. That's pretty impressive. I kind of really like that. That's that's awesome. So we'll stick you, st we'll stick you here, and we'll grab the other ones. 
I feel like I feel like you guys can all sort of hang out together like that and the rest just chuck in the middle just like that it's not um <clears throat> it's not pretty but uh, it does the job okay so <laughs> I'm all but done what do I think the troll I don't have an issue with the troll I like the Drake I like the hill giant it's got lots of green miniatures in it uh, which are goblins hag and um, a bogard which are basically frog creatures um, yeah it's not that bad I mean you know I've seen worse I'm actually quite happy with it. The Drake is actually really nice, and I really do like the Hill Giant. It's now my new favorite um, ogre miniature, as far as I'm concerned. So, I am done. So, if you enjoyed this, great. Um, look, if you're looking for nautical miniatures, I believe that the Lost Coast is not the only Pathfinder one that is out there. I think you'll find that um, Skull and Shackles is also a really good uh, uh, box set for nautical themed miniatures, if that's what you're after. Now, I'm not going to say ask you questions because you had your opportunity and this is unboxing and it would be ridiculous. Um, but if you do have comments that you want to put down in the comments section when it gets published, then by all means go for that. Um, if you want to watch more of my videos, I have hundreds of videos for players and dungeon masters, which you are welcome to go and check out if you feel the need to do so. And I would be happy for you to do so. So by all means, do that if you feel it would help you in some way. Um, there's usually something for players and dungeon masters that will work for you. Now, share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell button to be notified when I go live and when I publish new videos if you really feel like that's important to you. Um, and um, look, if you want to support my channel, you did so by sitting through this video. I have, like I said, lots more videos. I don't do Patreon. I do have affiliate links to the book depository and Amazon. And you're welcome to use those. That supports me to make sure I keep doing videos. And that really is it. I don't have anything else to say. And I'm going to say... Till next time, keep rolling those 20s. I'm not gone, but I will be gone in a second. So if people wanted to say something to me before I disappear um, for at least a week and possibly longer, um, this is the time now. Um, hey, thank you to everybody who stuck around to watch my little unboxing video. Um, Oscar, I will try to do more unboxing videos by all means. Um, they don't require a lot of effort on my part, so it's easy to do. And I do actually have money now, so that sort of makes it possible. Um, Smash Bro 99 you're welcome. I'm glad I was able to share with you this. <laughs> and now I've just got to sort them out into the appropriate boxes so I can find things when I need to. But um, look, I'm going to say what I normally say, you know, um, I am going offline for a while to just tidy up my channel and to take a break and go and watch the enormous amount of video content that is currently available for Dungeons and Dragons due to D&D &D, um, dropping the Descent storyline. So I'm going to go and check that out. I have ordered um, Ghost, um, the Ghosts of Salt Marsh and I've also got uh, Ricky, and, Ricky, is it Ricky and Morton's um, book it should be coming in the mail at some point from the book depository at some point so I'll go and I'll go over those when they show up probably about three weeks from now because I'm in New Zealand um, but yeah have a good night have a good uh, morning afternoon um, day whatever it is for you look after your family and your friends and look after yourself and I will see you in the next live stream probably in a couple of weeks or a week <laughs>